Hey YouTube, it's Bill here from Southern California. I uh, picked up a few things from the uh, couple of thrift stores. Uh, some clothes and a couple of uh, actually vintage items that I think you'll find uh, pretty interesting. But uh, let's start with the, uh, the clothing here. Here's a pair of uh, North Face um, Gore-Tex shoes, size 11. These, as you can see that, 8 bucks. Really nice condition. Um, you should probably be able to get probably 40, 40 bucks for these, but they actually fit me, so I'm going to throw them in the wash and disinfect them and uh, keep them. Next is a, another Gore-Tex. Uh, this is a jacket, hooded jacket. It's a marmot. A uh, really nice condition. Uh, pretty thick. There's a label on the inside. This one's a size uh, medium, so it doesn't fit me, but uh, should be able to get 50 to 75 for this one. And I think I paid like uh, 10 bucks for that. Here's a pair of uh, North Face um, cargo convertible pants with the uh, stow pocket. Actually, the stow pocket, whenever you see that, you can basically take the entire pants, fold it up into the pocket, and then zip it, and then uh, it'll pack into your bag. These are size extra large. Should be able to get uh, $35 for these. They paid uh, 5 it's like a North Face day here. Uh, this is a three toddler, so it's for a three year old. The uh, looks like the Denali jacket, North Face. It's on the back too. Uh, paid three dollars for this. Should be able to get uh, twenty five to thirty. And it looks like this went along with it, but I'll sell it separately. It's uh, another uh, three to uh, size three toddler North Face. This is a let's see, high vent. It's a raincoat, and uh, again paid three dollars. Should be able to get uh, thirty to thirty-five on that, I guess. And the next uh, two items I actually got. And uh, when I went home uh, for for Christmas in uh, Mineola, Texas, about a hundred miles west of the uh, Louisiana border, but I got about fifty of these old camping magazines, and they date from the late fifties, and then all through the nineteen sixties. Pretty nice. Like this one is from nineteen sixty one. Look at the graphics on it. Pretty nice. There's another one, 1963 Tent Trailer Buyer's Guide. There's like a book from Ford. Station Wagon Living. Something from 1962, Let's Go Camping. Complete Guide to Camping. Night this one is 1959, 25 cents. I didn't bring them all out, but I have about 50 of these. And the only examples I could find on eBay were from the 1970s, and some of them were selling, you know, up to 20 bucks per magazine. So if I can get $20 per magazine and there's 50, that's some really good money. But yeah. This will be interesting to see what happens with these. And this is probably my uh, favorite find uh, from Texas. Uh, I have no idea how it ended up in such a small town. But this is a 1964 World Directory of Aviation uh, Astronautics for Air France. It's actually really, really interesting. Uh, I think this was probably something that was handed out to pilots. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a directory, a world directory of uh, 
different uh, services, aviation services from around the world at that time. And it has some really interesting uh, advertisements as well. There's one for Rolls Royce, but I got bookmarked a few of these. There's one. It's on, actually, these are on heavy stock card poster types paper. This would actually, someone could actually frame these and they look pretty nice. Look at that one. That is nice. Huh. Another interesting one. Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what something like this would be worth. I'm sure it has some value. I would say I'll probably put it up for auction and start it at $100. I only paid like $5 for it. Look at this one. I mean, this is really nice, like pop art almost. Well, it is from the 60s. So. I guess that's during the, the Andy Warhol era yeah so bookmark Here's a sob, even though they made planes. Hmm. Well, anyways, uh, that's my haul for the past. Uh, well, I haven't really been searching, or I haven't really gone thrifting. There's just a few stops here and there when I had time. But, yeah, anyways, uh, I'll see you next time.